Welcome to the shop. I have a quick shop tip, and it's about this problem here. I have a bad crash. The servo got ripped out and uh, broke the connector. How do you fix it? Really not that hard. All it requires is a set of tools, some material, and a little bit of know-how, and you'll be able to fix this in no time. Stick around. I'm going to go through an example of converting this back over to a usable setup. Making these cables isn't very hard. Um, it just requires a set of crimping tools and the materials you're going to need. The pins and the plastic part that got ripped up, ripped to shred. Neat thing is on some of these, you know, you could start making your own cables maybe for multiple servos with one plug, all connected in one plug. A lot of different options there. I make cables all the time for the planes, uh, whether they've been in a crash or I need to make my own extensions. You can do all of that instead of ordering from one of the major brands. So stick around. We're going to go through that an example. So here's the problem we're dealing with right here. This was involved in a crash and it's all busted up. So a couple things you can do. One is let's just take the pins out. A lot of people show how to make cables. This isn't anything new on YouTube's, but I thought I'd just put something together. So anyway, you rip up all those little tabs, pull those up, and then your pins will come out. If they don't come out, because they're stuck in there, which happens. A couple of these are busted. I'm gonna go through an example of showing how to fix one of these. So we're gonna just chop that off. What I typically do, if it's hard plastic, it's a little harder to take off the insulation, but silicone's real easy. But anyway, I just take my thumb, forefinger, and just pull. Oh. There we go. Usually works a little bit better than that, but, but that'll do. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is get one of my pins and take that pin off, off that ribbon, insert that into my crimper. Slide this that opening there and make sure the insulation's in far enough and crimp down. Hard to do with it through the camera, but I'm happy with the fact that the insulation is in there. It's not too long. You don't have frayed ends all over the place. That's a good crimp. All right, that connector's toast. So we pick up our new connector and we're going to feed these in. This one's bent too, but we're going to, for example's sake, just show you how to put these back in. And they'll click when they go in. They obviously go in in a very special order. The red is always in the middle. That's all you really have to remember. Red's always in the middle and then you'll be fine. All right, that's it. Cable's now fixed, repaired. You can plug it in and you should be good to go. Obviously test everything and really inspect it to make sure the crimps are good and things are set up solid. All right, good luck.